if you learn uh, how fast these defensive backs are, how soon you have to get rid of the ball, understand defenses, you can become a better player. Peyton Manning, who is best known as a superstar quarterback that played in the NFL for 18 seasons. Manning had spent 14 seasons with the Indianapolis Colts and four seasons with the Denver Broncos. During his final years with the Denver Broncos, he snagged himself a luxurious mansion in Englewood, Colorado. Manning is considered to be one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time and during his astonishing career smashing records, he was also making bank. Manning's lucrative career allowed him to retire in style, snagging himself quite the mansion. We'll take a look at Manning's $4.5 million home that spans over 16,000 square feet and 3.4 acres which he purchased back in 2012 just after he secured a deal with the Colorado team. Just like his five MVP trophies, this mansion is bar none. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. The GOAT Peyton Manning has a net worth of $250 million. At the peak of his playing days, Peyton was one of the highest paid celebrities in the world. He endorses many major brands and frequently appears in television commercials for brands like Buick, Papa John's, and DirecTV. You can watch exclusive game highlights of all your favorite players, like Peyton Manning. That guy's pretty good, if, if you like. 6'5", 230 pound quarterbacks. In fact, throughout his career, he has extremely lucrative endorsement deals with a wide range of companies, including Sony, ESPN, Spring, MasterCard, Reebok, and Gatorade. Peyton also owns 21 Papa John's pizza franchises located in Colorado. With his $18 million peak NFL salary, in some years, Peyton earned over $40 million. Even after retiring, Peyton earns at least $10 million per year from endorsements. For the win! Woo! Yes, sir! You like that, Ruth? Do you like that? You know what it's called? It's called winning. It's called being a champion. Back in July of 2011, Peyton signed a five-year, $90 million contract with the Colts that made him the highest paid football player in the league at the time. We went from three and 13 to 13 and three. That wouldn't have happened had I not hung in there and kind of learn the ropes as a rookie, even though he took some bumps and bruises. Unfortunately, Peyton was injured before the start of the 2011 season and was not able to play in a single game. And we let the world know that the Colts had arrived. We were coming and we went on to do some phenomenal things. And I was truly honored and proud to be a part of it. Peyton Manning was let go by the Colts, which made him a free agent, and that's when the Denver Broncos came knocking at the door. Manning soon signed a new $96 million contract with the Denver Broncos. While it must have been tough to leave an organization after 14 seasons, this would make Manning and his family start looking at a new home in Colorado. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how Manning landed the home he has today. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Marlon Palmer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. Now, I noticed that 95% of you guys keep coming back. Y'all keep coming back, but you're not subscribing. We need you guys to to subscribe because we post videos daily and we want you guys to be notified. Now we've previously reported on the homes of Jaden Smith and Ashton Kutcher so if you guys would like to check those out please do so on our channel and if you guys like these videos ring that bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at that McFly so we can chat some more and put the comments in the section below of what house tour you guys would like to see next. Let's get into the video. Prior to making the move to Denver, Manning played for the Indianapolis Colts and of course, resided in the state of Indiana. Playing 14 seasons for the Colts, Peyton owned a home in the Meridian Hills area. Now, Manning is known as a notoriously private guy, so as we couldn't find much information about his previous residence, we found a lot of info about his new one. Peyton Manning's house is located in Englewood, Colorado, just south of Denver, roughly 10 miles or 16 kilometers if you're Canadian. This monstrous mansion spans across 16,000 square feet and 3.4 acres. The home initially cost Manning a whopping $4.5 million dollar payment back in 2012 just after he signed as a free agent with the Broncos. Outside views of the mansion show a massive driveway that passes through a gated entrance with a wrought iron fence. So don't even think about trying to go trick-or-treating here. The driveway leads to a carport and a seven car heated garage, and we all know Manning loves his whips. The property boasts seven bedrooms and 10 bathrooms, just in case the rest of Manning's want to come over for the weekend. The manor is conveniently located at Cherry Hills Village, which is roughly 20 minutes away from the city center, in case the Mannings want to do a little shopping. This compound is spread across three stories, so naturally the Mannings have an elevator that can take you from the top of the bottom floors. If you're looking to get a little cozy, the home features its very own wine cellar. To top things off, you can take in the view with their rather 
magnificent grand balcony. As previously mentioned, the garage has room for up to seven cars. Over the years, Manning has been seen to drive a bunch of different cars, but none of them have been excessive or over the top. For example, he's a lover of his Cadillac Escalade. Manning also whips around a Toyota Camry XSE in honor of driving the pace car at the upcoming Daytona 500. So it is very well possible that Manning has some racing cars parked in that garage. One of the gems of his dig is the open center hall floor plan. This magnificent hall features a two-story rotunda and custom inlaid black walnut flooring. I mean, you could literally start a game of football in that open space. The Manning pad also features a quote-unquote safe room, also known as gun room. Don't worry, he has all the permits for it. The household is also pet friendly as it has even an attached dog room with an indoor and outdoor heated kennel. If you are looking to relax, you can do so in the billiards room or the living room that has a fireplace. And just so you know, that is just one of several in the home. We know the Mannings are a big family, so it only makes sense that the kitchen features a large island and a dining area. The kitchen checks all the boxes with slab granite countertops, custom cabinetry, top of the line appliances, a walk-in pantry, and an informal eating area. Nearby is a formal dining room with butler's pantry and china closet. By the way, that is also one of a few dining areas. There are plenty of sitting rooms to lounge around in. An adjacent family room offers a casual spot to watch a game or highlights of their old man tossing a few. I'm also a huge fan of that wall of windows. The main floor of master suite includes a bathroom with a spacious shower and huge walk-in closets. Other luxurious features include radiant heated floor and wet bar refrigerator. Now while Peyton is busy signing his major endorsement deals, they require major desks to sign them on. This one surrounded by paneled walls and custom built-ins is a thing of beauty. Surprisingly enough, there is no pool on their massive property. However, it appears there are plenty of room on their three and a half acres to add one. In the meantime, the Mannings can enjoy, relax, and forget about their worries outdoors on their spacious veranda and patio, which comes complete with a built-in grill. The Mannings certainly like to work hard and play hard, as there are two offices and a games room. The gated home has a huge backyard with plenty of room to host family barbecues, or heck, even team reunions. We also can't forget that the balcony spans the back of the home on the second floor. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at Peyton Manning's home and that massive, massive backyard with the spacious veranda and patio that comes complete with a built-in grill. Like, that's ideal as hell. After seeing that fancy little house he snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you expected out of Peyton? Personally, as lovely as this house is, I think it could use a designer's touch. Case in point, the billiards room above decorated by like that one little fake tree. I, I don't know, that's me personally. Out of Manning's features, which were your fave? You guys can even go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. And you guys can follow me on Instagram at that dude McFly. I'll post uh, content on there every once in a while. You really enjoy it, trust me. See you guys next video.